Mr. and Mrs. Eagle were so excited. They were going to have a baby soon. They sat on their egg to keep him warm. I think we should name our egg before it hatches. Let's call our egg, Egg Word. Or how about Egg Zard? Or Eggleness? Or eggle -ry. Or egg vin Or how about just egg? Oh, who said that? Oh, that's quite simple. I like that. Let's just call her Egg Egg. That's a good idea, darling. Suddenly, there was a big crack. Crack! Oh, darling, that's our baby. Our baby has hatched. But to their disappointment, it was their neighbors who flew down to show their new baby. Oh, just look. Just look at our new little girl. She has my eyes. Isn't she lovely? And she has my smile. We just love our new baby girl. Oh, yes, she is very lovely. And the neighbors flew back up to their nest. Well, Mrs. Eagle was very happy for her neighbor, but it just made her want their egg to hatch all the more. I know, maybe, maybe I should sing to our little egg. That's a good idea. Oh, baby, baby, please hatch. Oh, baby, baby, please, please hatch. Crack, crack, crack. Oh, darling, I think it's working. But to her disappointment, the other neighbor's baby hatched. Oh, look at our new baby. Isn't she wonderful? She's lovely, darling. Oh, dear. Maybe it's too noisy here. Maybe, maybe our baby needs some earmuffs. I think that's a good idea. I'll go off and get some cotton and fashion some earmuffs. And so Father Eagle flew away and came back with some earmuffs. And they put earmuffs on their little egg. That should help, my darling. Our little egg just needs some peace and quiet. Oh, darling, I think our baby loves these earmuffs. That's what our baby needs is peace and quiet. What a good idea you had. Thank you, darling. Suddenly, there was a crack, crack, crack. Darling, our egg is hatching. I hear the egg hatching. Crack, crack. But it was another neighbor's egg. Oh, oh, our baby hatched. Our baby hatched. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, darling. And he looks just like you. Oh, I think he looks like you. They were so excited. Oh, dear. Darling, maybe our egg is cold. Maybe, maybe our little egg has the shivers. I think you might be right, dear. I will go fly off to get some more cotton. And so Father Eagle flew off to get some cotton from the cotton woods and came back with some cotton for their little baby. Here we go. I think this should help. And so they fashioned some cotton around the egg to keep the egg warm with the help of the narrator. Oh, darling, I think this will definitely work. And so they waited, and they waited. Oh, I think it's working, dear. I think our little egg just needed to keep warm. You're right. Everyone needs to have lots of warmth. Suddenly, they heard some cracking. Crack! It's working, dear. It's working. I hear the cracking. But to their disappointment, it was just a branch. Crack! That flew away. Oh! Darling, I don't think anything is working. Well, maybe we should stop trying so hard. Suddenly, the wind blew, and it blew the cotton off the nest. It blew the earmuffs off. And suddenly, there was a cracking. Crack, crack, hello. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, darling. Our little eagle is born. 
Hello, everyone. Oh, he's a, such a cutie. I think we should name him Eagle Bert. Or Eagle Mart. Or Eagle Ness. Um, how about just Eagle? Eagle sounds nice. Oh, I like that. That's quite simple. Yeah, I think that's a good name. And so, the happy little Eagle family lived happily in their cozy little nest. you today. I hope you liked our story about the little eagle. Okay, which reminds me, we're going over the letter E today. And you can hear E in the word eagle, can't you? Yeah. Okay, so at one time, the little eagle was an egg. Okay, and the letter E has two characters. F for egg and E for eagle. Okay, go back in there. Uh-huh. All right, so you can think of it like this. Here's the character, and here's the character. And Jerome will do artwork with you later. Okay, so they're both the letter E. All right, but if you want to remember the sounds they make, F for egg, just think of an egg. And E for eagle. Zoom in. There you go. Our eagle has little wings. All right, so that will help you remember. Here's just a plane. This looks like an egg. F for egg. And we'll stick some wings on it and coat it so you know it's E for eagle. Okay, good job. All right, cover letter sheet time to practice writing in the lines. Okay, so zoom in. We're going to do the little E. As you can see, it only takes up one space, not the top space. Oh, no. Start at the cherry. Go over toward the honey line, up and around. Oh, that was fun. Okay, to try to remember, they have two characters. We have a, a, a egg. Here's our egg character. Very cute. And we have a E for eagle, which is also the name of the letter. Okay, so let's leave this one alone. Let's give this one wings. Okay, that'll help us remember E for eagle. Let's leave this one alone, E for egg. Let's give this one wings. Okay, E for eagle, we just coded them to help you remember the character sounds. Okay, let's Flip it over. All right, now we have a big E. Oh, yes. Okay, big E takes up two spaces. Okay, start at the cherry, go down, jump back up once, twice, three times. This is a happy one and very fun. Okay, do it again. Awesome. Okay, now the first one, we'll just leave alone. And, and we can remember the character uh, for egg, okay? And then the second one, let's put wings on it so we can remember E for eagle. All right, it's also the name of the letter. There we go, we put some wings on it. Okay, good job, guys. Voila. Hi, guys, it's me, Jerome. Okay, so I made up a dance that will help you remember your letter E characters, okay? All right, this is me, picture of me I drew with my arms above my head, making an egg shape, okay? I can't quite do that over my head, but I'll just go like this, all right? Okay, so I'm making an egg shape, and you say E eh, for egg, okay? And then I'm flapping my arms like E for eagle. All right, here we go. E eh, and E. Oh, yeah. E and E. E and E. E and E. Okay, you got it? All right, you guys can do this and practice this so you get your characters, okay? Remember, E for egg and E for eagle. All right, good job. Oh, yes, hello there. 
We have the letter E, which can say A eh, for Ellie. Oh, we'll have to use the big one. A eh, for Ellie. A eh, 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 Ellie. All right, guys. It's time for letter art. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead and get a marker out. Probably a dark marker, not too light like yellow because you won't be able to see it. Okay, first we're going to draw an egg. So, I'm going to have you draw an egg that's kind of like this one. We're going to start at the top. It's going to go down diagonal, curve around the bottom, and then go in a diagonal up to the top. Okay, there's our egg. All right, we're going to put an E in it, which remember, for our character, it's going to say the shorter sound, eh for egg. All right, so starting over here, going over there toward the honey line, up and around. Yeah, okay, now we're gonna get um, a brown marker and we're gonna put like some of the nest in there. So go ahead and scribble in some brown underneath it. Okay, okay, now that's our F for egg. All right, just like this one, plain by itself. All right, now we're going to do E for eagle. Remember our wings, okay? All right, this is going to be cool. Get a dark marker. Okay, first you're going to draw the head. Okay, don't close up the neck. All right, now we're just going to go all the way down, over, and up for the shirt and everything. Yeah, like that. Okay, eagle, they have like a little neck thing. Their heads are white, their bodies are brown, and you know, their feet might be orange. Okay, so we're gonna do a little rough neck. Uh-huh, and then we're gonna make a beak, make like a and then close it up. Okay, give them some dots for eyes. Okay, zoom in, pull it down so they can see better. There you go. Okay, we're gonna give them some bangs, like on our card. There you go, okay. And some wings. Okay, other side. Nice, okay, let's put the E on here. Get the brown marker, put some wings. Nice. Okay, now we're going to draw top of the legs, like this looks like a, a wah. And then some little lines, a little line, and then some feet. Couple little loops, couple little loops. Okay, that's basically our E for eagle, and then you can color them. Okay, so leave the head white, color the wings. Okay, he's got a shirt on. I didn't do this. I just thought it looked fine like that. Okay, and then the legs, the top of the legs. Okay, and maybe an orange marker for the beak. Right there. Okay, there's our E for eagle. There's our character. All right, good job, guys. Okay, guys, it's time for review. Don't forget our, our letter for the day is letter E. Has two character sounds. First one is A for egg. Okay, kind of a cute little egg, huh? Okay, second one is E for eagle. Oh yeah, wings and all. All right, I want you to see this little picture. Okay, I drew this oh, a couple days ago. Maybe zoom in a little, it's a little blurry. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna give you this. It's just gonna say eh. Remember eh for egg. We just, I, I'm coding these so you can tell what they are. Eh, mm, n, n. Okay, it's missing a letter. This is a hen. Oh, there we go. Okay, now put it together. Uh, mm. uh, mm. Hen. Yeah, good job. Okay, and I got one more. This is me. Okay, so find the E with the eagle wings. There's E. 
and then find a mmm. Yeah, me. Good job, guys. And don't forget our list. Here's our list. Take a picture of our short E list. Remember, all of these E's are going to say eh, as in eh for egg.